Biological indicators are like the canary in the coal mine. They're things that die easily when they're exposed to a pollutant. They're generally in ecology what we call specialists rather than generalists. Generalists are organisms that can handle a lot of habitat fragmentation, a lot of pollution loads and erratic variables like crows, like raccoons, like rats, like humans. We're generalists. We're not so much specialists. Specialists are, generally speaking, the biological indicators. All biological indicators are specialists. They're organisms that have evolved to have a very specific role in their ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And so when something gets destabilized in that habitat, they're the first to go. They're the ones that die off right away, as soon as things flux a little bit. And so when we see them coming back into a habitat, they're our indicator that we built it and they came. You know, we built the habitat, we re-vegetated we re it, and now they're here. And so when I did revegetation of native species in uh, the low desert of Arizona for the Fish and Wildlife Service, I would do songbird indicator counts to tell them that that reveg work was successful. So I would walk places where we had replanted it with native riparian buffer trees like the cottonwood and the willow 